The challenge with YouTube is not just creating content that's interesting to your community because they may not see it. That's, that's the algorithm, right? It's about creating content and optimizing for the timing of said content. It's all about creating content in a timely manner. So as there's a new operating system that's about to drop, a perspective that, that I have to share, I'm going to take some time, record it live here on Twitch, clip that video out, and put it in the queue. This operating system is going to drop in another day or so. So it's important for me to get that into the cycle. So as people are searching, the search volume goes up. So when, when a company releases a new product, instead of waiting six months and then talking about it, I would get much more traffic and much more velocity when I'm tackling that conversation or becoming a part of that conversation contemporaneously. Twitter works in much the same way, right? Uh, you know, you, you'll see waves of people talking about the same thing. Well, YouTube optimizes for that kind of thing. I mean, you're, you're going to search and you're looking for breaking news. You're looking for new product stuff. You're looking for new releases. What's the hot topic? And creators have to pay attention to that, which makes it a bit difficult, uh, at least for people like me who don't always chase the trends or may not always have something to say about the trends, at least in the same way. Because the issue I have with YouTube is I'm a variety streamer. So I love going on Twitch and geeking out about one thing or another. I was planning on talking about this, but you, you, you veered me off course, which is fine. It's great to be off course on Twitch. You can do that on Twitch. But on YouTube, you've got to have a singular focus. And what I learned, despite me being a variety streamer, no matter what I did, and despite my vlogs getting the, the best engagement I ever had in my YouTube channel, doesn't matter. The only thing that's ever going to get uh, attention uh, in, in my YouTube channel, or at least one of them, uh, is the tech stuff. But I don't always have my mind on modern or current tech topics. It's, it, 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 it's something that I'm working to improve. I don't get the latest gadgets. I'm not necessarily a gadget collector. I don't have I don't have unlimited budget to get gadgets. I don't have a sponsor to get gadgets, so I have to rely on on my own um, use cases, my, my own uh, workflow in terms of whether or not I'm going to be able to get something that's going to be a hot topic uh, because gadgets move the needle. But let's say a video like this where I'm laying down information, kind of giving a, a you know a, a tip. Uh, for a, a YouTuber to be, and I'm not a YouTuber. Oh, uh, oh I, I, that, that word is like nails on a chalkboard to me. I use YouTube, yes. But uh, this type of video may not get a lot of attention in the beginning because no one may be searching for it or there may be a lot of search volume, but over time, it may accrue a greater amount of traffic because people aren't looking uh, like a ton of people, people who don't know me may not be looking for this one topic that I'm covering right now. But the people who do know me, the, the people who are on YouTube, I, I hesitate to call them a community because I think most of my community is, is on Twitch at this point, not so much YouTube. That may very well change. But the people on YouTube who subscribe to me are only interested in hearing me talk about one thing and one thing alone, tech. And while this is a tech topic because YouTube is tech, uh, you know, uh, creating and using a platform is using tech and 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 using tech to your advantage, uh, as in optimizing your your YouTube uh, uh, strategy to take advantage of the technology that that has been made available to you. Uh, it's very much a tech topic, but my audience may only be interested in the latest gadget or gizmo or the latest uh, trend that's coming down the pike, the latest tech news, right? And and I may have something to say about that, but today I wanted to talk about. This, I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, thinking through why you might want to use YouTube or how you would want to use YouTube and the traffic expectations uh, for your community on YouTube, say, compared to the traffic expectations uh, for similar type of content on Twitch. So you could either hope for a big push in the beginning when people are searching for that new product or, or, or what's about to be released or the, the breaking news. Or you could produce content that's more of the uh, slow burn, uh, the educational or informational stuff, something that may have a bit more staying power. Uh, evergreen content is what we call it. There's two types of traffic patterns. And your community may be mostly interested in one, but your audience over here 
is the thing that's going to sustain you. It's the thing that's going to allow you to grow beyond the people who know you. People may search for Chris Perillo. My hope is, is when people search for Chris Perillo, they find me on Twitch. Sometimes they find the content that I did a decade ago that's pointless at this point uh, because it was contemporaneously produced for, for devices that are no longer on Vogue. Uh, but I would rather spend my time uh, creating more lasting value and content that stretches beyond the people who know me and just one singular focus. Two types of uh, content strategies and finding a balance between the two is how you would want to approach YouTube if you decide to use YouTube uh, as a foundation for, for creating content live or pre-recorded. We, we already had this discussion about Twitch versus YouTube in another video that I also shot live on Twitch and recorded and clipped out to the YouTube channel.